Now, the coronavirus pandemic continues to escalate in the United States. The country has recorded more than 77,000 cases of infections in just 24 hours. Now, this is the highest single-day surge that's been recorded anywhere in the world. The United States has now reported more than 3.7 million cases of infections. Now, cases have been surging again in recent weeks, particularly across the Sun Belt that lifted the lockdown restrictions early. Five major states, such as Arizona, Texas, California, Florida and Oklahoma, continue to record massive spikes, with at least about 39 states now pushing back their reopening plans. The surging coronavirus cases have also led to a shortage of hospital beds in these states. In Texas and Arizona, morgues in the state are said to be filling up. Officials are now bringing in coolers and refrigerated trailers to store bodies to deal with the surge in the deaths. But even with this resurgence, Americans, of course, remain divided over wearing a mask and about opening, reopening of schools. In the state of Georgia, Governor Brian Kemp has sued Atlanta's mayor to prevent her from mandating masks while Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has refused to make mask wearing compulsory in his state. Now, the wearing of a face mask has become a highly politicized issue in the United States. Now, it was not until recently that the president was seen wearing a mask, perhaps for the very first time, in public. But top infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci continues to stress on the importance of wearing a mask. Uh, I can say as a public health official that I would urge the leaders, the local political and other leaders in states and cities and towns to be as forceful as possible in getting your citizenry to wear masks. Masks are important as part of the physical distance. Physical distancing is the most important. And not just masks, Trump administration continues to clash with states, pushing for the reopening of schools. Now, with schools set to reopen in a few weeks' time, many states have decided to not conduct in-person classes. Now, California has announced that schools in most counties will not reopen for in-person classes in the fall semester. Chicago, which is the country's third largest school district, has also unveiled a plan to offer both in-person and remote instruction.